What's up lads, what's the crack? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the series. We've got our right midfielders for all budgets, the best players that you can buy that are down as right midfielders. So up first we have got Sambuca. I love a good Sambuca. Sambuiza. This guy is a beast, he's very very cheap, he's a creative playmaker, you've got everything that you could possibly want. Now listen, I have seen people in my comments say, oh you know you should play this player here or this player there. Yes, you can play right wingers as a right midfielder and vice versa, but I am judging this series and doing this series predominantly as players that are down with the cards. So for example, you've got players that are just down as right midfielders, such as Skov. This guy, Skov, is a cross specialist, 22,000 GP. He's a free agent in the game, and he is quite cheap. Most of the free agents in the game are cheaper for some reason, um, dependent on their, you know, their stats, obviously. But this guy is a pretty, pretty good player to have for 22,000 GP. So as I said in the last video and in a couple of videos, I think eFootball24, what it's done a good job at is having specialist players in a specialized role. So similarly, like before in eFootball23, you could play, you know, three DMFs as your central spine and still be able to be creative whereas now it is dependent a lot on the passing and the blocking lanes for positions out wide is no different so we've got james madison as a really expensive option first off with seventy six thousand gp not expensive in the grand scheme of things but he is expensive towards what we just saw so that is the same concept behind choosing a, a, a side midfielder or a wide player okay is that if you are using a specialist player such as james madison you know what you're going to get out of him so you're going to be getting passing you're going to be getting movement and you're going to be getting kind of slow build up rather than you know fast whip whipping in crosses or a play like that so the likes of Perez this guy is only 22,000 GP as well he's a Roman flank so you can actually do a little bit more touching goals at him overlaps and stuff which are really powerful in the game you're not going to be crossing as much with him even though he's got some okay player skills but you know comparing him to James Madison is different you're going to be doing a different play style and a different type of build-up play compared to um, having a fast kind of like pacey player with really good dribbling compared to somebody that's a really good crosser of the ball so think of David Beckham versus Ryan Giggs both played for Manchester United both played in the same system but both had completely different roles so don't worry we will do a video on that for any newcomers as well to explain that in a little bit more detail but he is your 22,000 GP option and he is what fourth on the list i think so moving on we do have otavio as well so i'm just showing this guy's actual ability um he was on d rate and this guy's had a lot of cards right so again this guy comes into a creative playmaker type role as a right midfielder could he be better off playing him as a central figure yes potentially any creative playmaker can play through the center really um except for rare circumstances but you can see here with all of these builds where i'm going to be using these players as the kind of creative option for passing and for you know literally putting the ball um you moving the ball more than moving their legs with the dribbling right moving the ball with passing more than kind of sprinting with it you will see here that i've kind of left their speed and acceleration at around the 80 mark and maxed out everything else on their potential and their progression points so that's just something that you know you need to do if you are looking at players like that now on the flip side you've got chuck wazy right so this guy is from ac milan and this guy is all about pace. You're not worried about anything but pace and speed and power with this guy. So it's going to be very direct running, overlaps, using his blister and pace as best as you possibly can. I would still like to see the pace improved, the balance between pace and fast players. At the moment, Mbappe uh, is probably, you know, Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe are probably the only two players that can leave players for dead. You can still catch them up over a straight line, but when you stop and turn and do all that sort of stuff, it is uh, a little bit more rewarding to play with fast players. But we have this guy down here with insane speed and acceleration and balance and dribbling. Brilliant. But he's a completely separate option compared to what you would be looking for from the likes of James Madison or something like that. And this is my man Corona. So he gets the top spot, lads. I'm telling you, right? If you're watching this video and you're thinking, how is Corona number one on this list? Just, just do me a favor, right? If you have about 50,000 GP, literally go in and buy him, right? Go in and buy him and play him for a couple of games without even training him up. And just look at the movement, his dribbling, he plays way above his stats. I definitely think the developers are, are a big fan of Corona or something, that they've given him some super juice, because he is unbelievable. He trains up brilliant, you can train him defensively, he can play a multitude of positions, he is the ultimate utility man, brilliant speed, brilliant acceleration, balance and stamina, and then excellent dribbling that really plays way above his stats, lads. He's, he's an insane player with one-touch pass, double-touch, heel trick, soul control, excellent low lofted pass he's got brilliant 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 player skills i love him he's definitely one of my players that i always like to have in my squad um got up with him into division one my very first time of playing him 
I think he was on high on the list when we did this series last year for eFootball 22 and the year before for or for eFootball 23 and for eFootball 22. So let me know what you guys think of this list. Do you agree or disagree? Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.